Greetings, dabblings, and welcome to a new first taste for the channel, where today we're going to be checking out Isle of Arrows, which, other than being a tower defense, uh, which some of you know as one of my favorite genres in gaming, but is also a bit of a puzzle game. Again, it's another game that kind of uh, has the build-your-own-dungeon style feel. Uh, much like orcs, you design uh, the world around yourself, not just defending a static path as with many tower defenses this one has you building the path yourself but it isn't just that there does feel like there's a lot more puzzle game in this than is otherwise present in the build your own dungeon kind of sub genre of tower defense nevertheless as usual it's a bit of a difficult one to describe adequately with words so instead we're going to be jumping straight into the game so you can get a hands-on or well i guess eyes on feel for what this game offers the game is out at the moment it released on the 8th of September, and as ever, there will be links down in the description below if you would like to pick this up for yourself. And while you're down there, if you do find that by the end of the video you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to see more, then consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know. But with that, let's go ahead and play. Now, as you can see, I've been playing this a reasonable amount. I'm 15% of the way through the campaign, and this has afforded me the option of the daily defense, the gauntlet, various different game modes. I have also unlocked a new map, but for for the sake of uh, giving you the more honest kind of first impressions experience, we'll go through this with the, uh, the the basic map that I have very recently actually unlocked. And it wasn't easy, I'm going to be honest. This, this game has a lot of puzzle game in it. An archer's oath is the freedom of death. Only the most talented bowmen are worthy of becoming defenders of the isle. Now, uh, you start off, you've got a bunch of different guilds, and getting to certain levels in the gameplay will unlock the next guild. Uh, I have two of them unlocked, Architects, and these play very, very differently. Architects, as you can see in the background, is kind of a, a, a little bit of an island in the sky, and whereas Founders expand the island, Architects don't. You just have this one landmass, and everything else you, you build with increasingly precarious-looking bridges. Uh, but we're going to be going with Founders again, just for for, for as uh, first impression -y of an impression as I can offer. Now, with that being said, obviously I'm going into this with a bit of an idea of what I'm doing, so uh, do bear that in mind as well. But if you do happen to pick this up, then I hope that this, uh, this first taste, uh, f uh, I guess, uh, arms you with some foreknowledge, furnishes you with some foreknowledge. I'm not sure if the furniture is the right word. Nevertheless, this is our path. So we're going to have one enemy. And if you click on it, almost anything in this game can be clicked on. It's actually a very, very comfortable UI. Uh, you'll have one enemy. They're trying to get to the compass stone over here. Don't let enemies get here. I mean, there's not much more you can say about the gate. Uh, we've got 10 health, and every so many levels, we'll get one extra heart, thanks to our, uh, our guild master. We've got some money here, and now... You don't spend money to build towers, and this is where the puzzle game comes in. Uh, much like Carcassonne, much like Orcs, we have like an, a random assortment of tiles, but we have a very limited hand. In fact, we have a, exactly one card. We can choose to play it, or we can choose to leave it there, and at the end of our turn, it'll be discarded if we haven't played it. We can also pay two gold to progress, and pull the next card that we can see into our hand so we can play it. Again, this will be discarded if we do that and we haven't played it already. Uh, but playing it is not going to cause this to trickle down. We will have to pay that. So the normal um, run of play, if you weren't spending your money, is I would play this tower and uh, right now let's say uh, around here seems fine. Now this tower is a bit of a pain because it's got water attached to it. Water is, uh, well, just water. It's just in the way, really. This is an arrow, arrow tower. It shows me the area of attack, and we can get a little bit of extra information. But as you can see, this path hasn't, like, fallen down in, into position. I can't just play cards until, you know, I'm, I'm satisfied. I have to pay for the right to play more cards per turn than one. And I don't always want to play the one card that I'm given, either. So there's some turns where you might just not want to do anything. But at the end of the turn, I will get one gold. Now, the interesting thing with money is the more you have, the more you make. So every 10 gold increases your income by one up to gold of 40. So at most, you can have uh, plus four. And 
Uh, or maybe it's plus five, actually. It, it might be that 40 is the final tick. Uh, this is bridges, and this is bombs. Bombs allow you to destroy features, but you can't just willy-nilly decide where the features are to be destroyed. Again, there's a lot of puzzle game in this game. If I were to place down a building that overlapped an existing feature, bombs would be consumed to destroy the old feature and replace it with the new. But that's enough uh, chatting about the UI. Let's go ahead and see what happens. There we go. Very, very easy. Now we can see that there's going to be two scouts on here. We've got a garden coming up next and a path right now. This path is actually not a bad one. You can rotate them as often as you want. Uh, you can lay paths or, or rather any uh, connection piece only if it makes sense. So for example, I can place this here I can't place it there because a road leading into a tower doesn't make sense It has to be an uninterrupted path, but I don't need the path to be continuing um, On from what I've already got I can kind of lay plans in advance But you have to connect to something that's already been played uh, Again much like Carcassonne. There's a lot of games that are that are uh, have a bit of a Carcassonne feel out at the moment uh, But this is going to extend the path so a it's gonna mean that our enemies are gonna take longer to get to the crystal And whilst they're taking that longer path uh, they're gonna be under withering fire a little bit uh, longer This is a legacy tower we started with this tower because I reached le uh, wave 20 in my last game. Uh, that's a bit of an interesting one. Right, so we're going to carry on building up some gold here. No reason to do anything else. There we go. We've got some bonus cards. I can either take four gold now. If you don't place any tiles during a turn, gain two gold. The Seal of Patience. That's actually not a bad one. And moving currents. Randomly spawn a fishing hut. Uh, no, we won't do that because I'm really not going to gonna have control over it and a fishing hut is a very specific building that needs to be next to very specific things to make sense so we're gonna go with the seal of patience there there we go right what are we getting now we're getting one henchman stronger and meaner looking than the scout with a lot more health as well uh, this time though we've got a garden the garden can just be placed anywhere and we'll get a little bit of gold for it it literally it, it doesn't benefit from any kind of synergy it's just you place it you get gold Got nice and easy. What are we up to next? Just four scouts. Okay, that's not too bad. You'll notice that the uh, towers, by default, unless the, a specific synergy exists that changes their behavior, or a specific tower which has this behavior naturally, they will always target the weakest enemy. They they will prioritize taking enemies out over weakening strong enemies, which you should probably bear in mind with uh, your planning. Hmm, how are we going to do this? I mean, if I could bring this up there, that would actually be quite a nice one. Don't worry, we will be able to expand the island over time. But uh, that is now actually a, not a bad place for a fishing spot, as it happens. There we go. Income increased. There we are. We've crested the 10 gold amount. Now, on the topic of expanding the island, extends the isle with new grounds. But so many of them are coming with water, which is actually kind of annoying. But I think placing this down here would be grand because that makes a very nice little area for a fishing hut. Fishing huts gain, uh, are more beneficial to you the more water that surrounds them. Uh, you can add water after the fishing hut has been placed, but I typically find it better to prepare an area for a fishing hut and then just wait for it. Now, we could start spending some of our gold. If I spent two right now, it would not drop my income. Uh, oh, sorry, actually, no, it would drop my income. Next turn, it wouldn't drop my income. I do apologize. <laughs> but uh, let's have a look what we're going to face. Just six scouts. I'm not worried at all about that. We should be able to get through them fairly quickly. There we are. Ooh, okay, Magic Wheel. A croupier offers you to play a game of spin to win. I will always play a game of spin to win. There are penalties on this, so it's not always a good thing. Uh, looks like we get a card choice. Okay. Bonus card. I can take archery, spawn two high grounds. High grounds give uh, towers a, a great advantage point and longer range. I think I'm going to go with the archer tower, though. Yes, I'm going to place the Arch Tower here. Now, I'm hopeful that we'll be able to get rid of that water in time. Now, that was a bonus card, so I get my regular card uh, available now as well. And this is an Ice Tower. Uh, so you are going to have some interesting uh, effects uh, from some of the cards. Now, where are we going to place this? 
We're not going to be able to get the best location here, no matter what I feel. If we place it here, we'll put a little bit of freeze on this tile. It only goes orthogonally. Uh, so, do plan accordingly. And Each tile can only have one effect in uh, effect on it uh, at a time. So if I place a nice tower here and then later on I get another effect, let's say spike, I can't have the spike trigger on the tile with the ice, which is sad because I would prefer the spike. So uh, do bear that in mind. Uh, we'll place that down there. And at this point, like I said, we could now place a second tile for free, effectively. Gives two hearts when fully surrounded by other buildings, including diagonals. All right, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll place that down. And I'm going to place it down all the way over here. We'll build up around it over time. Okay, t Cannon Tower is coming up next. It damages all enemies in an area. Not always accurate. Fair. All right, let's get the next wave going. Oh, I forgot to check what it was. Never mind. We're fairly early on. It's unlikely to be particularly bad. Oh, now that is is nice. That's something we want. Now, the cannon tower, we're going to place right here. It's going to cover these three tiles. And then we're immediately going to buy this one in and place it down right there using one bomb to get rid of the water. There we go. That has drastically expanded out our path. That is absolutely wonderful. Exactly what we wanted. We're going to get two henchmen and four scouts this wave. Now, typically, the wave ends, or rather, the uh, the mission ends at 40, or at least that's where you start unlocking lots of new things. Now, this path, I don't know where we would put this one. Um, I mean, I could put it there to extend this path out a little bit more, actually, and this might seem very silly, but we're going to build a bridge underneath the water pool. Uh, don't ask. But there we go. We, it, let us do it, so I'll take it. Now, I don't really care to grab this flag next, so I'm going to just allow my money to build up. It is generally a good idea to let money build up over time, and then only spend the excess that you're earning in a turn, because now we can do that. I'm never going to be, like, every turn I could afford to place two tiles, but I would never increase my wealth at that point. Uh, it's, it's a good place to be, and later on you can be in a much better place uh, as well, able to, spend, uh, to buy three tiles per turn without worrying. And later on, you're definitely going to need it. Word to the wise there. Things do get much harder. This creep is, uh, as you can see, a shield there was blocking a lot of the incoming damage. Uh, two ice tra traps, a random path? Mm, no, but the fishing hut, definitely. We're getting two gold for each adjacent water tile. So placing it here will give us six gold, which is better than the four that we could have had otherwise. And now we have got a flag. Uh, at this stage we could get rid of this the gold wasn't attached to having it uh however hmm. yeah i think this is probably one of the better places to place uh, a tile and expand the island out a little bit we could perhaps have the path go like this around and that gives us quite a few places to place towers and if we use a bridge we can even still place one over there but we're up to 20 now so we're earning three gold per turn. So at this point, even if we were to buy a second tile each turn, we are still going to make money. But I don't really care for this tile, so I'm, I'm not going to place that down. Okay, now we're starting to see some uh, faster mobs, and they don't really get cold, uh, because they've got a helmet to keep them warm, I guess. Uh, don't ask. Once again, uh, I don't know. Uh, now, Arrow Tower would be grand in one of these locations. However, no bridges, no bombs. That does cause some issue. Let's go ahead and just pass that turn. Seal of Patience will give us a bunch of money. So we're going to be able to very quickly get to a point now where we have, uh, where we're bringing in four gold a turn, which is going to be amazing. All right, we've got the Black Market. Ah, fantastic. Honestly, this is probably my favorite thing in the Black Market, is just being able to buy bombs and, and uh, bridges, which, now that I think about it, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Well, it's a black market, but bad kinds of stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I have questions. All right, we're going to go ahead and place you right by there. And honestly, I don't see a reason not to get the tile that I want whilst I have the choice of it. But that's all we're going to do there. Now, sadly, what I would like to do is just have a bomb and place the water down. But unfortunately, water does not sit on water. So I can't place this there, for example. And I can't place it there 
because I lack a bridge and I can't place it here because that would invalidate that path so a bit of a bit of a shame there if I'm honest but uh, I could always place it over here but it's not gonna get as much use there I feel so I think placing it down here is probably one of the best places and it's also going to further surround the fountain we don't need the fountain yet, and you can't overheal. We've got 10 health, and 10 is the maximum health, and if we heal when we're at 10, we waste the opportunity. So this is basically being saved up as a uh, as uh, a, a, a bit of a plan should we start hemorrhaging health during the later waves. But the Prefector over here carries a shield that reduces damage by 50%. The shield breaks after three hits. Not after a certain damage, just hits. Runs faster than most, requires a long enough path to be stopped. Indeed. All right, well, that's uh, good enough. Let's uh, continue the wave. Now that we've got a nice uh, big surround on this tower, though, honestly, as much as that tower is good, I would prefer a trap in that location because it would hit four separate tiles. I believe there's even an achievement for that. Another fishing hut. Hmm. That could be very nice indeed. Ah, can't place it there. That is a shame. That is quite the shame. There's nowhere that I can place it, really. I suppose I could put it down here, actually, and just uh, change the, the way that this works. Now, I'm going to spend two gold on this, and I'm going to spend a bomb. Uh, or am I? No, I'll wait until the next wave. But we're going to use the bomb. We're just going to place the new fishing hut there, and we will once again get six gold. Uh, it's quite a, a nice little feature of fishing huts, apparently. Uh, there we go. Again, they're prioritizing the weakest. So this path is getting a little... Oh, wow. Okay, that is really good. The fourth card from now will be a sniper tower. Knowing exactly what you're going to get in four cards time is actually quite good. Uh, however, two bombs? I think so. Bombs are probably the most valuable resource in my experience. We're now up to the uh, four gold a turn mark. So let's go ahead and get the double path. Now, this might not make a lot of sense right now, because we're building off the edge of the aisle. However, later on, we will hopefully get a, a flag that we can place around here to extend it out. In fact, there's the flag. Right, let's continue the wave. I'm not going to spend any more, because it would reduce my income. Uh, this isn't too bad of a wave, all things considered, but you are a bit of a, an issue. The the multiple arrow towers at the very end is probably the best thing for dealing with those fast ones, though. Uh, so that's accidentally become quite good. But, uh, yeah, it, it could be better. Let's just put it that way. Right, if I place this here, we're going to come a little bit closer to sealing this off. But if I place it there, we'll still have a viable path, and I'll only need one more tile to go in there in order to heal. Whether we, uh, When we need to use that, who knows. But uh, it will be there for us when the time comes. Now then, as I was mentioning, it's quite nice to have a, uh, a trap nestled in somewhere. And that is what we're going to do over here. I'm going to place this trap right there because eventually we're going to build up and around and that will give us three separate tiles to cover it will use one bomb but that's fine and now i'm also going to purchase the quarry the quarry is an interesting one destroys all adjacent tiles and you gain one gold for each tile destroyed so in cases where a tile is no longer valuable to you this is a pretty good uh, pretty solid option frankly um now we could use a bomb to place it and there is certainly some merit in that. Where would we want to place it, though? Now, the problem here is that if I were to get rid of this, I'm pulling this down, but I am getting three coins back for it. Yeah, let's go ahead. I'm using up a bomb, but is there anything better I would like to destroy other than getting rid of the fountain? Not really. Uh, the, we don't have that many disposable tiles. I mean, I could get rid of the, fl the, the flag there. <clears throat> For one gold, uh, it's not the best placement, but uh, certainly not the worst either. And getting rid of the flag does not remove the land, but I think we're going to go there for, for maximal, uh, maximal impact. We've got an archer tower now. Lacking a bomb to place it, however, uh, and lacking the bridges to place it. So we'll wait until next turn and maybe we'll, something will come up to help us out. Oh, we've got the giants around now. They are fantastically healthy, as you can see. 
The cannon will do a good bit of work here, but I think this may be one of the first uh, losses that we get. Uh, yeah, the, the fact that we were not focus firing on it for so long. Yeah, that's our first first loss. Bit of a pain, but it's going to be the one. Uh, it's going to be one of many, sadly to say. Uh, the arch tower. I guess we could go ahead and place another one down here just to try and help out with uh, future enemies like that. But mm, maybe not. Instead, well, it's it's a question of useful now or useful later. That's a lot of paths worth of later. I think useful now is going to be a bit better for us, ultimately. Uh, but we've got a lot of cash that we can spend, so let's go ahead and spend some of that cash, shall we? And again, and we'll plop this one in right there. And again, now I would like to expand out quite a lot if I'm able. Sure, let's bring this all out around there. And once more. There we go. We have now expanded the path. Now, we've not actually expanded the path in any way that does damage. So, you know, there is that. That is not the ideal situation for us just yet. But uh, later on, this is going to be quite the gauntlet once we've surrounded this with towers. But again, it's going to require lots of bridges. This wave got no, no worries on this one, honestly. Uh, I think we're going to be fine with this. We've got so much uh, firepower down here from the arrows. Even the high health mods won't get through. Ooh, our first treasure chest. Okay, so the way the treasure chests work, place any tile on top to collect. Now, we've got another path down there that we can expand into. Uh, at this stage, I would say starting to build out down here is probably worthwhile, but let's build in there first. Doesn't really matter whether on the outside or the inside, and this is going to leave a little bit more room on the outside for interesting uh, pieces. We've got plenty of cash, so I see no particular reason not to build out. Now, I could do this. Be a bit of an interesting one, but this would give us a treasure chest straight away in exchange for one bridge. Sure. Uh, it was just treasure. That's a shame. I would have preferred it to be something else. We've got a statue coming up next. Gains two bombs when fully surrounding, including diagonals. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, let's pop it next to the fountain. Uh, we could put it over there, I suppose. And uh, then we only need two tiles to complete this one. Yeah, place that down. Uh, go for the next path. Uh, let's say around here is where we're going to start branching. And we might as well keep going while we've got the coins. Place this over there, expand out the island a little bit more. And once more, though I don't know where we're going to place the ice trap, really. I suppose we could place an ice trap over here just to thwart our enemies a little bit as they're approaching this tower. Sure. Now, our market square is coming up. Enter the black market as soon as this is fully surrounded by other tiles, including diamonds. We're getting quite a lot of these tiles. I could place that up there, actually, and it would immediately push us into the black market, which would possibly allow us to buy some bombs. Uh, so I think that's where we're going to go. Right, got another giant. We'll see if uh, the added firepower down here makes any difference to that giant or not. I suspect our firepower will be mostly focused on the giant by the time it gets there. So there's a chance, but still uncertain about our odds of getting through. No, it was close, but not quite. Very close, though. And a sniper tower. Ooh. See, I could place the black market there. But it might be better to place the black market here and place the sniper tower up there. This is a very nice area for a sniper tower. Yeah, I think we're going to invest in that. We've got now got enough that once this is completely surrounded, we actually want the healing. So we'll place this there. So once we do get the healing, we'll also immediately enter the black market, which is, you know, not too bad. And oh, that is the perfect collection of tiles. Here we go. As you can see, the sniper tower is going to hit everything. And the sniper tower... Uh, we've also got two uh, bombs there, but the sniper tower in particular, long-range tower that attacks the enemy with the most health. That is glorious. Let's place this one down there. Now, at the moment, things are looking all quite nice for us. They're about to get a little bit less nice, frankly. Uh, let's go ahead and 
start moving through. But they're going to be slowed in the range of the sniper tower for quite some time, which is glorious. Absolutely glorious. Now, the worst thing would be for the sniper tower to focus fire someone with a shield, though. Because, sadly, uh, three hits from the sniper tower before the shield is gone. So, at least we've got the arrow tower there also helping out a little bit. But the arrow tower is going to be focusing on the weakest enemies, unfortunately. But that was a much better run of things. All right, this path, uh, where would we like you to go? I could kind of weave around, but uh, odds are slim that we're going to be in a position to do that. Quite slim. I could place it there and weave down here immediately. Now, I'm planning ahead for something I know that is coming up. So, if if you can't quite see the reason why I'm, I'm playing something right now, uh, because I don't want to really spoil the surprise of, of what's about to happen, just understand that I'm, I'm doing it with a reason that will become apparent uh, very soon, actually. Uh, do we want to place this tile? Well, we've got the means to. I could skip it if I really wanted to instead of placing it as well. Uh, you don't always have to place every tile. It's sometimes not the best strategy, in fact. Uh, let's place this down here, I guess. We'll extend things out a little bit. And trap. This is really not the right shape for us. But okay. We'll grab it and we'll place it. If I place it down here, bit of an interesting path there. Okay, start the wave. Now, at this point, I'm not checking what we're going to get every every wave, though I probably should, because it's uh, about time for us to start seeing some stronger enemies again. Uh, but it'll go through a period of time, it'll introduce a new, new stronger enemy, and then for a while it'll just pad the numbers out with the weaker enemies that it's already introduced. So, you're only going to get new enemies every so often. Ah, there we go. <laughs> this is why... I was really hoping it would be down here so I'd have part of a path already built. Okay, so now we are dealing with a second path. First question I, I know will be on everyone's lips, can you merge the lanes? You cannot. There are no junctions and you can't bring a, a, a lane from a different crystal to meet the other one. It simply won't allow it in the same way as it won't allow invalid path placements. So this is an entirely new problem for us to solve. Uh, thankfully, however, that's actually really, really comfortably placed because I can have this also help out uh, this path as well. Though, this is now going to muddy which one this one's targeting, which is not always the best thing for us. Um, I could bring this down in this direction, I guess, to hook up there, and I kind of want to do that. Uh, right, next up again, this is the last one we're going to go for. Gain 8 gold if this is destroyed. Well, I don't think I'm going to have much of a problem with that. Also, let's get some health back and get into the black market. I'd like some more bombs. I would like a corner path to extend that out. There we go. I would like... I'm going to desperately need, in fact, a flag. Now, we have reduced our income. What are we getting next? We're, just get, we're getting a flag next anyway. In that case, I will buy this path and extend this one out just a little bit. But that is going to be it for the black market for us. Uh, we're going to have to build our way back up to getting four gold a turn, sadly. Now, there's nothing actually damaging them down here, which is, is a bit of a shame. But there we are. We've got a new uh, powerful unit. Over here, though, it's pretty much exactly the same progression path as we've had here. This is not the last path that we're going to unlock, works the wise. Thinking that, oh, that, that's, that's uh, tricky of them, those scoundrels. No, they get tricky, unfortunately. And the first couple of times I, I played through, I had a habit of converging the paths. Not Even after I'd, I'd figured out you couldn't merge them. But I, I tended to build myself into a, into a, uh, a corner, which, uh, as you can imagine, not very great. Oh, this is a different type of flag. If we have a look at this, it's a pointy flag. Extends the island with new grounds, but does so with a different pattern. In fact, this is the perfect pattern for us right now, which is uh, quite quite nice. Uh, when Yeah, we are going to grab this, and we're going to extend this path out, just because it's going to give a little bit more time for that arrow tower to attack. And I'm happy for that to be 
that, really. I, I don't intend to change that one around uh, much more than that. I think we're, we'll just leave that one for a couple of turns. We're just going to have a couple of scouts there. But what are we getting down here? Uh, we've got assassins. Okay, we can't see the, the info card for the newest enemy. I'll keep looking until till we can. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't think I've clicked on the info card for the giant yet, either. We'll do that in a moment as well. Uh, you can speed things up, uh, which is always uh, a, a lovely feature in any tower defense game, because after a point, quite often, it, you know you're going to win or you're going to lose. It's, it's not much of a, a question. And if you don't know for certain, then it's going to happen right towards the end. Uh, it'll, it'll be touch and go at the end with only a couple of units. You can you can thin out the herd very quickly. Right, relics. Carte Blanche. Immediately draw bonus cards twice or scroll of growth. Extend the island by one for each tile you place. Now that is a very, very nice tile. Additionally, this ice trap is in a wonderful location because it can affect both lanes. Always lovely when you get that. Right, let's have a look at you. The Executioner starts off slowly, but gains speed over time. Oh, interesting. And the Brute can take quite a beating, but walks slowly. Fair enough. Uh, do we want to use an extra tile? No. No, I think we're going to pass this wave and we'll... Uh, oh, actually, I'd already played a card. I was going to say we'd get a... <coughs> excuse me, a little bit of frog in my throat. Uh, we won't get that. I'll get that. But uh, I was going to say we would get uh, a little bit of extra cash from the uh, the Seal of Patience, but I'd already placed the Ice Tower, of course. Yeah, as, as we're seeing now, the, the Giants, by the time they get over here, the Brutes, rather, they're already low enough in health. Ah... The Ballista Tower. The Ballista Tower. Every bit as wonderful as it sounds. However, good places to place it, we have few. Hmm. A tricky one, that. I'm going to go ahead and purchase this one in. Fires a volley of arrows. Targets all the paths in the same row. So, to give you an idea of how that works, once enemies are over here, it'll fire arrows that'll hit all three of these spaces. And then, once an enemy is there, it'll start shooting that one. Once an enemy is here, it'll start shooting all th uh, three of these. It is fantastically powerful. If placed in a, an area which really helps it. For example, I could place it here, and this lane is probably going to be good for a long while. I can place it over here as well. Um, honestly, that's probably one of the better locations. Uh, though this one, with the, the slows... Ooh, yeah. Yeah, we're going there. Right, we'll pass the next wave. Now, of course, going over there would have been useful. Uh, just to defend that area, because we are going to need to start putting down some more firepower, but... As you can see, that thing does huge amounts of damage, especially when they slow down on an area like that. Now, the best possible design for a Ballista Tower, if you were able to design the path bespoke for the Ballista Tower, is a zigzag, just in the 3x3 three three tiles in front of it. Right, increase the chance of enemies to drop gold, gain 2 gold whenever a tile is destroyed, or remove half of all water tiles. Not actually a bad one. The Ring of Ruin can be fantastic if you end up with a lot of quarries. <clears throat> Or just using bombs. But I think the, the chance of having enemies drop gold is a little bit more useful for me. Right, pointy flag. I could place it there with a bridge. I'd get more use out of it there with a bridge, though. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, right, next path, since we're back over the 30s. I'd need to place another bridge to make that useful, sadly. But this one we can work on right away. And we can go for another as well. Place down a garden. Um, doesn't really matter where at this point. So I'll place it over here. I like placing them around the crystal because I'm not going to be placing defenses around there, typically. Oh, and perfect. Not that it's really going to do much different other than extending the path. And... To be honest, thinking about it, with executioners in play, that might not be the best role because it's going to give the executioner much more time to speed up before they hit any damage. Mm, that was a misplay there. I should have perhaps placed that over here. Oh, well. 
too late now. But uh, definitely something to bear in mind. Look, look at them go. Speedy boy. We'll slow down a little bit, but won't be slowed for long, sadly. Yeah, they're not sticking around any of the towers. Thankfully, we did. We were able to uh, apply enough damage there, but uh, that that definitely was a misplay with uh, with executioners on the on the board. There we go. Now a new flag. Hmm. Okay, so let's not continue making the same mistake, but instead. Place this tile over here, expand out the island a little bit, and have room to branch down into this. And next, because we're definitely going to go for it, I'm going to place a tower right there using the bomb. There we go. Beautiful. Now that bomb would have allowed this quarry to do some really good work over here, but uh, we're just going to have to suck that one up. Uh, that being said, as much as I just placed this tile... Losing a single path, not too much of an issue for me. Getting rid of two flags, pretty good for me. So yeah, that, that worked out quite well. Now an ice trap would be ideal there or there. I do not have bombs to be able to make that happen, however. A shame. We'll just pass this turn then. There we go. That's uh, that's given us a little, little bit more uh, breathing room over there. There are a lot of enemies coming this way, my lord. Now, this, again, I believe, will attack the weakest targets in this area. Uh, so, the least health. But in a large cluster like that, the Blister Tower is always going to be useful. So, it's really not that much of a problem. Now, we can replace the path down there without too much of an issue. Uh, let's go ahead and slow down our enemies on this tile, I think would be a little bit more useful for me. Uh, let's also expand this out a bit. I know, we're going we're going back down the route that we just came from, but should be fine at the end. Uh, place that flag in. We've got enough coins to play with at the moment. The issue here is I want to take that corner, and I don't want to just simply extend out. Would that corner be able to work? That corner would definitely work down here. Ah, okay. Well, I guess we're going up in this direction. And yes, we're doing exactly the same thing. We're making this worse, not better. But, there we go. We have been rewarded eventually. Eventually, we got the reward. Let's place some more firepower down over here. Now, being said, thinning out the weaker enemies, I really can't overstate how useful that is because as you've seen our very powerful towers the ballista tower for example and the cannon tower as well will focus on the weakest enemy so let's get rid of the really weak ones and let's make the weakest enemy still a, a, a tanky enemy so that their firepower isn't being wasted uh next up we've got the workshop when adjacent to two water tiles gain a path tile of your choice and do we have two water tiles yes we do right there that's uh, pretty nice okay on to the next path Making gold here and there, which is glorious. Ah, we've now got monks. <sighs> oh well. Uh, as you can see, they've got a shield that regenerates. And when it's there, it, it will absorb the impact of an entire hit. So you kind of need sustained firepower to take them down. Otherwise, you're just going to be taking their shield off and not actually whittling their health down at all. But we've probably got this one thanks to the large amount of uh, archer towers at the end. Oh, it was touch and go. Uh, a little bit more so than I would have liked to imagine. Right, we're going to grab this path, extend that out, please, and indeed, thank you. Um, I don't think we need to spend the, the coins on anything else there. All right, workshop time. Let's pop you down here, especially because we're going to get the path of our choice. We'll go with the corner path. Now, the question is, which one are we going to extend? I think we're going to extend this one. Because that's going to give us another freeze zone and also put uh, our enemies in range of the arch tower a little bit more. All right, let's have a look. Are we getting any more monks that we can... Uh, wardens. Protected by a magic shield that fully blocks the next attack and regenerates every few seconds. Devilry, I say. Scallywaggery of the highest order. Thankfully, they do seem to have enough health not to draw the attention of our towers over much, but still, dislike it. There we go. And you were getting quite, 
quick towards the end there. Disapprove. Yeah. Okay, we do need a little bit more firepower along this lane. This one is okay for now, I would say. Ah, oh, thank you. That's a perfect path for what I want. This one, not as much anymore. However, since we've got the points, I will spend them. And there we go, a cannon tower. That will be glorious in this tile. Okay, that, that came at, at precisely the right time. Let's place that down. This will thin out a lot of weak enemies all at once. Uh, we've also got this uh, high ground here. Oh, actually, buried wisdom. No, never mind. Gain one heart if you place a flag here. A flag? Ah. That is the first time I've seen that particular tile. I've seen uh, elevated ground, which gives uh, range on your arch towers, and also quicksand, which destroys the first tile placed there. But that's the first time I've seen that tile. Very interesting. Now then, over here, I kind of want a straight path to go past this freeze tower to make the most out of it. So I think we are just going to pass this way. There we go. Ooh, ah, drat. A little bit too fast. We need a little bit more punchy firepower over here. This is where having the paths converge at least a little would be helpful. If I could have the paths run alongside a gauntlet of towers, that would be ideal. But setting that up when you've got a very random selection of, of tiles, and not many to choose from. It's not like we've got a, a, a hand of cards to pick from. We've got exactly one at any one time. Still, how are we going to solve this problem then? Well, I guess we could... Branch down? I'd use a bomb for that though. Not keen on that idea. And yet... Yeah, there's no other particular connection point that I can make over there. I could do something here, so let's use a bridge for that one. That way I can continue looking for better cards. Okay, a flag is useful, especially in that position. And a straight path, also useful. A freeze trap. Again, not amazing, but also not terrible, since it will slow our enemies down in... Ooh, actually, well, it wouldn't really help there, but it would put a lot of slow in this area. So if I could get any kind of towers down here covering these lanes, they would have a long while to attack. That by itself is worth doing. We can't place this tile really anywhere of value to us, so I'll, I'll wait on that one. Right, managed to get rid of one, but are we going to get through both of these in time? Uh, with the slows, maybe, but I think we might have needed another tower there to really have a chance of that. So yeah, it's really coming down to this lane, not having enough firepower yet to be able to stem the tide. Tower here would be good, especially a sniper tower there would be absolutely amazing. Ha! But uh, things have now gotten even more tricky. We are on wave 29 though of 40. All right, we're definitely going to need this ar archer tower, and this archer tower in particular, I think, needs to be. I would love to place it there, but here to make use of the extra uh, slow. Place that down. Uh, we've now got a, a flag, which I'm actually going to have to place over here, I think. Um, this is a tricky area. I guess we could allow that little gap there. That's not the worst thing in the world. And let's see. We've got a stonemason down here. I would like this path to circle. If I could bring it back to the cannon tower, it would be amazing. Uh, let's go ahead and place that down. Now, the stonemason turns all adjacent towers into cannon towers. A pretty powerful card to play. The trick is finding an area where you've got multiple archer towers to use it on. Because you wouldn't want to sacrifice a sniper tower. This tile right there would be the one. Unfortunately... 
Unless I get a bomb in the next turn. That's not happening. I am very sad. Okay, well done. Uh, we may be able to take you out at this point. Yeah, we managed to add enough damage to that path. I'm still a little bit concerned about this area, but it's mostly the execution is because by the time they've gone down this incredibly long winding path, they are moving really quickly. That being said, if it weren't this long, they would have gone to the crystal, so I suppose. Right, let's have a quick look then. What could I do? I mean, I could change this into a cannon tower, and it would affect both paths, I guess, but we can't then place another tower after the fact to improve this, but I think having a cannon tower on this path is necessary, regardless what else we do. Uh, let's grab a little twisty turn there. Not really helping us. Oh, the dart tower's up next. Okay, so dart tower, the way this one works. Quickly launches three darts that take time to recharge. They do a decent chunk of damage, though. And as you can see, they reach quite far. So, question is, where I want it? I could place it there and I would hit two lanes. This one isn't so bad, but I am really concerned about the fact that I'm, I'm just leaving it open right now. So... I think we're going to place it there, and we're going to try and curve up and around it if I can. Though, that being said, if I'm perfectly honest, not going to help us immediately. And the reason why it wouldn't immediately help is that in the time it takes to recharge, creeps would have already moved back out of its, of its area of effect. Though, I suppose on a particularly long line, that wouldn't be as much of an issue. But this is never going to have a particularly long line of attackers. Uh, we are too close to wrapping up the waves here. So ultimately, I think we're going to place it about there. It's not the ideal location, but if we twist this path around, there would be enough time for it to recharge by the time the enemy are back within its firing range at that point. Now, I don't have a bridge to place down there, which is a bit of a pain. But okay, let's uh, move on. Now, they're already gone. Uh, didn't even use all of the darts. Now, as we've seen... Some enemies are getting relatively close to this uh, crystal over here, which I'm not the biggest fan of. And a lot of these are tanky. Still, they're going to have to go through the ballista, and quite a few of them are slow, and they're going to be further slowed by the ice trap. So I feel the ballista is probably going to be able to take out a couple of them. And then double cannon towers is quite nice. Though, unfortunately, cannons, A, not super accurate. B, the first hit is only going to disable the shield. Ooh, a trickster offers you a game... Of coin toss. Gain, heads gain five. Tails, I don't need the money, so I'm going to skip. Uh, I know, I know. Skipping out on a game of chance. But here we are. I, I, I really can't play this tile, and the quarry is going to be super useful to me. So we're straight away going to just pass that one up and play the quarry tile. Is there a better spot for the quarry tile? Um, no, I don't think so. All right, new flag. Sure, we'll grab you. And if I can, I would like to extend this out. Actually, that side isn't struggling right now. This side is, so let's continue to expand it right there. Uh, next up is a corner path, which we can't take anyway because I need bombs to get past the water. But still, we've now got somewhere to go. And over here, I can place this down and start turning away. And again, we are kind of backed into that corner over there. Spike trap. Oh, gloriousness. I think this may have just saved the run. Placing this here, we're going to hit three separate tiles. The spike trap is an absolute beast. Place your spikes on all adjacent path tiles. Only one trap can be active per path. The spikes deploy, then they retract. On a deployment, there's a, there's a moment of activation where if anything walks into the spike while it's deployed, they still take damage from it as well. So uh, that is going to be able to thin out the, the, uh, the wave very aggressively, especially because they're going to be further slowed by the ice trap before reaching this point. That was absolutely glorious. And uh, let's expand this one out. Now, again, I'm a little bit worried about you. I can't place a cannon there. It's sad. I know, but 
It is what it is. Uh, however, I can place a cannon down here. I can place a cannon there. What are we going to see over here? We're gonna, we've are gonna we got protectors coming in. Is there enough here to stop? I don't think there is. Down here we've got a lot of nastiness, but we've also got a lot of nastiness of our own. So it's really these two paths that I'm worried about, and I think the cannon tower... Yeah, we're going we're gonna to spend the cash to place down the cannon tower. We'll go back up to the higher form of income on the next wave. Right, there we go. Thankfully the dart tower is really punchy. So it isn't uh, a rough one there. This this tile, although it's only got two towers, is reasonably protected. Right, let's have a watch. Okay, only only managed to catch you very slightly, but we'll see you go through. Ah, oh, come on, you missed. That being said, the shield would be uh, disabled first. Wow, I think we've just had the worst luck ever. Barely any hits with the spikes. The spikes do a lot of damage, so I was so excited to show them off. Man, I bigged you up and everything. Embarrassing me in front of my friends. Uh, right. Let's have a look. Uh, filling in this tile is now a, a reasonably high priority, so let's place this there, and then we'll also free up a lot of room around here that we can branch into. And immediately branch into it, I suppose. Um, yes, let's go up in this direction. Now I've got a quarry tile. Oh, that would have been glorious if I hadn't placed that, but oh well. Uh, where could we get rid of unnecessary tiles at this stage? If you get rid of the water over here, and that would allow this path to move through. So, definitely worth it. And that gives us enough gold to go ahead and grab one of these paths. We're getting ever more close to the, the cannon tower, but do we actually want to do that? Um, no. No, let's uh, increase the amount of uh, path that we're going to have available to place more towers. We're on wave 32 of 40. Oh, there we go. New enemy unit type. I don't want to see all of them at the moment, so we'll zoom out a little bit. Seeing enemies getting close to the crystal over there on par 3. Going to have to worry about that one. I hope we don't need to worry about you, but I'm starting to be concerned. Yes, we do need to worry about you. We were so close to finishing you off. We couldn't quite manage to finish the job in time. That's a bit of a pain. Let's have a watch. Uh, if you look closely, I mean, one just went down, but you'll usually hear a little uh, little uh, note. Uh, what, would you, what would you call that? Uh, like a bell, I guess? A ring? Yeah, a ring sound uh, when uh, a, an enemy gets hit by the spikes. Grow the entire island or sniper towers attack an additional target. That is actually going to make this much more powerful. Okay. Let's see. Where are we going to place you exactly? I could, if I could get down there, expand that out quite a lot. But the problem is getting there. No, I don't think we're going to be able to. I could... It, get three tiles there though so we'll place that down right dart tower is available perfect now we've got a couple of places where this would be useful but i think placing it down here and then taking a path up there would be the best because we'd still be able to hit some enemies on that far side so yes let's place that in got another garden place that down in such a way that a quarry going there would be useful for me next up we have Hmm. Where do I want to place you? I think we've got enough freeze, enough freeze there. So we'll pop this one over here and prepare for a sneaking return for that path. And on that note, uh, actually, I'll place it down here instead, just to keep enemies within the range of the, the dart tower a little bit longer. But let's go ahead and expand out this aisle a little bit more. There we are. We've actually expanded the aisles out a lot. My goodness. All right. Now, this tile... Not the one... Well, actually, we could use it up there because we'd turn to the left instead of the right. Still, uh, that wouldn't be a bad one. 
Let's go ahead. The, the one place where it can't go is down there. That was a good option. A lot of enemies. They were slowed down, but... Ooh, oh, just. Luck and not judgment there. I think the slow probably had a lot to do with us being able to take them out fast enough. Now, a longer path, when you've got variable speed enemies, does help because it's, it uh, widens the gap. It forces them to trickle. I do need to have a look at your overall damage uh, soaking ability. Because I don't believe they do any more damage when they reach a crystal. So I'm wondering what the significance of the sword is. Let's have a look. Uh, we've got a champion. Slowly walk, slow walking men is this that is very hard to kill. Oh, you're just just ever more tanky. Uh, we've got protectors, brutes down here. Over here, we are going to see two henchmen and two scouts. Okay. Well, let's get this path in play. Now, the next tile here, reinforced path, is a bit of an interesting one. This can be placed outside of the island without using uh, bridges. And I'm going to place it just so you can get some visual differences. Like, if you have a look, the, the island, if you can go around the island, around its perimeter, you get a really interesting looking castle at the end of it. And, and unfortunately, we've just not had that here. But one of the beautiful things about the reinforced path, and I'm going to place it here for no particular reason, just, just to illustrate it. It has a wooden strut, so unlike normal uh, bridges, which is just this part there, the reinforced one has a, a column. You can, if you're going for purely aesthetic builds, you can make a really interesting looking island in this game. I, I'm, I'm often surprised by just how good it can look. But let's get a little bit more firepower down here. We're going to eventually have to go through there with a bomb or a flag to make room. Uh, we've got a fishing hut. Have we got any threes? Uh, no, but we've got several twos. Let's go for it. That still gives us more money than we start uh, than we used. Excuse me, there to have a cough. Now, extending this out, not what I'm looking to do. This one wouldn't be terrible down there, but uh, I guess it's what we're going to have to do. There's no nothing else we can do with that, and. Either we place this here, or we place it here. I guess here for now, since I can weave back around, and also it gives us a little bit of a castle. Boulder Tower. I was wondering when you'd show up. Launches a powerful boulder in a straight line. The boulder can only pass over paths and empty ground. Anything else, it will hit. It will also hit these, sadly. Now this is pretty much the best place for it. Now. When it says over oh, paths and empty ground, the boulder can just run off the path and onto another one. So you can absolutely have a boulder that runs across multiple uh, separate paths. As long as it doesn't hit anything that isn't a path or open ground, it keeps rolling. And sadly, when it rolls off the spikes, it'll be destroyed. And when and spikes and, and freeze traps can't occupy the same tile. But when this runs over slow, it becomes a massive snowball that slows down anything it hits. Which is very, very useful, as you can imagine. Okay, I think that's all we're going to place for this wave. Let's have a watch of how this goes. Now, we'll keep an eye on everything, but I'm hopeful that this is going to really thin them out by the time we get to the dart trap. Yes, they do. Perfect. And off we go. Slowed it, but it hit the quarry there. The main thing is that it could very easily thin out uh, weak enemies. There we go. And, oh, I was really hopeful that that spike trap would catch you, and I don't think any more of them will. Oh well. Right, wave complete. Randomly extend the island. Your next tile refreshes. Uh, next two tile refreshes cost zero or one heart. Honestly, that's the probably the, the best one that was there for us. Got a workshop, which I can place next to two water. So I'm actually going to immediately go for that since I couldn't place the other tiles anyway. Maybe I should have just because I could place them somewhere and uh, I wasn't going to be using them. But nevertheless, I think this is the better option. Uh, we'll place this down there. We're going to forego meeting up with the cannon. 
we will place this flag. Extend that out a bit, or maybe place it over there. That actually gives us a better path back, so I think we'll go with that one. On that note, we will now start turning the path that way. Next up, we've got another ice trap, which I am quite fond of. We could slow them down in the path of the uh, dart trap there. Maybe. If I had a bomb, I would absolutely place it there. Alas, no bomb is available. I suppose we could place it here and hit two tiles, and then if we had uh, some sort of arrow trap or something, or uh, maybe a ballista, or, uh, sorry, a sniper tower, or something along those lines, this would become a much more deadly place. But this isn't immediately going to make any difference for us. And that's what's holding me back. Is there anywhere on this path that would really benefit? This one, I think... Yeah, this one is, is more in need of the slope, I think. That one will benefit more from it. And that is all the gold that we're going to spend. But as you can see, it's very important that by end game, you're making four coins a turn. If you're not, you are going to really struggle. Because you'll only be able to place one or maybe two tiles down each turn. And... That's fine if they're useful tiles, but as you've seen, quite often they're not really useful. It's more I'm building for the future rather than building for the now. I need to be able to cycle the tiles to find something that's immediately going to increase our survivability in the here and now. We've only got five waves left until we reach the... Uh, until we, we win or maybe less until we lose. Uh, let's think positively, though. That being said, it is starting to get a little bit, a little bit tricky. Uh, arrow tower there, and only a, a one tile arrow tower as well, which is becoming increasingly rare for us at this point. However, perfect. We can have three tiles there, or we can have much more than three tiles over here. Let's go for that. We need to extend out the area here a little bit more. Uh, straight path, not as useful. Not with water attached, at the very least. What we really need is a black market, frankly. We need to get some bombs. Or a gunsmith. Gunsmith would also help out with the bombs. Uh, ooh, three tiles there. Fishing hut. Perfect placement. Well, I mean, perfect would have been four, but still, pretty good. Let's, let's not turn our nose up. Uh, that gives us a little, uh, quite a few more tiles that we can place this turn. Assuming we get decent ones. An arrow tower. I'm not too worried about over here, but I'm starting to get worried about this area again. That being said, an arrow tower there would definitely thin out the, the numbers before they got to these, because we haven't got very strong towers. We've got a lot of stuff going down here, but if we have a look at the uh, amount of enemies coming through, what are we seeing over here? Still protectors, henchmen, assassins, lots of scouts. Protector, henchman, scout... I think the arrow tower is probably going to be better over here. Let's hope that that was the wise choice. Uh, let's continue expanding out, though. We've got a market square. I definitely wouldn't say no to that if there's a place that I can place one and immediately get a surround. Then I don't see it. Sound off in the comments if you can spot one that I've missed. But I think that probably the best place to put it would be right there. And then we can place something up in there eventually. Even even a flag would do, realistically, at this point. Uh, placing a flag down there would be good as well, though. You know what? Sure. We're only one tile down. And yes, although that flag is not going to be very useful, let's place it. And there we go. Uh, not too bad at all. We got the Ancient Wisdom. All right, let's head on through. Income is back up. They're getting fairly strong over there. The Dark Tower is going to be able to finish you off, but... The fact that we've got towers and cannon towers there... Arch towers and cannon towers, I think, is the big help. This still does damage as well as slowing them down, which is the nice thing. I think we just uh, took someone out with their spike trap. Nice. There we go. By the time they get over here, they're so low on health. Though the champion is still a bit of a tanky boy. 
go. Right, ooh, new treasure chest, eh? Was not expecting that. We could expand this out, we could bring this further along. A tower there would be glorious now. Ice trap. Is there any way in particular that would benefit from it? I mean, yes, right there, actually. Uh, but I could place one over here. Double slows on that path. Now, I really, really would like to get over there. But I have no real means of doing so yet. We need bridges. Two, at least. In order to connect up to that. But this has afford us the opportunity to get a little bit more firepower on this lane, which was a little bit, a little bit hairy. Uh, we got another flag that we can place as well. Alright, never mind. We will be able to do without the bridges now. Perfect. Got a little corner section. Not what we need. Though I suppose I could branch out in this direction. We won't spend the coins on that, though. We'll wait. Right, let's have a watch. Now, the, the fact that you're so fast actually worked out to our benefit because it gives the Dark Tower a long time to reload. I am glad we put that Arch Tower there because we would not have stopped you in time. There we go. That one boulder is doing amazing. If I could get rid of that quarry, well, actually, by the time that the enemies are triggering it, there, there would be no enemies down here anymore. Still, I think we just took out two enemies with the Spike Traps. Hooray! Well done, Spike Trap. Still not quite as awesome as I've seen you be. Like, I've, I've had spike traps more or less hold an entire line by themselves. Uh, so I'm a little bit I'm a little bit underwhelmed by, by its performance at the moment, but oh well. Uh, what we can do, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll start building out in that direction. Now a tavern. Every time you, you win, as long as you've got a certain amount of score, you unlock new cards. The first time I played, and I didn't mention this earlier, that was a bit of a, a silly thing to miss out. It's quite a lot of these cards are unlocked through meta progression by playing and losing, and then you unlock new elements that can that, that can show up in future games. Now, what I've been told is that there are unlocks for each of the maps, and there are unlocks for each of the guilds as well as the maps. So there's a lot of tiles to open up in this. Increases the attack speed of adjacent archer towers. Oh. Drunk archers. Mm. I mean, historic precedents. I'll allow it. Uh, right, well, where would be the best place for this? Uh, you know what? Sure, we'll place it in there. Oh. Straight into the black market. Ah, oh, gloriousness. Uh, okay. A flag would not be terrible. A straight path would be amazing. Right there. And so we've decreased our income. Uh, I'm not going to spend that much on a, on a on a path, on a flag rather. No. What I will do though is I'm going to branch down in this direction. Okay, that's good enough. And apparently I cannot get the archer. Oh, have I spent too much coin? Oh no, no, I haven't. I haven't continued. I was about to say I've not seen that happen before. Now, this lane is pretty heavily defended. This lane... Oh, it's, it's which one? We came close on this one, so I'm going to place the, uh, the cannon tower down there. I think that's the, the wiser move. And with that, we're going to start the wave. I want to try and get back up to 30. Though, that being said, we've only got two waves to go. Yeah, that, I think that was the, the right move there. Now, sadly, that arch tower doesn't have as much... Uh, wow, okay, I made the wrong move as it happens. No, we just lost a heart there. But uh, a better arch tower would have been one like this one. Or even this one, since it goes around. But we only got the bombs as a consequence of getting the black market, which we'd already used the tavern to get. So. Sometimes it do be like that. Uh, your next two tile refract? No. Look at the three next tiles. Fill in all one tile wide path gaps. There are no one tile. What it means by this is, for example, the one that we had down here where there was a corner 
blank ground and then another corner. Using this would have filled that in. Uh, very useful occasionally. When this is when this is the right card to play, it is ridiculously good. But it's so infrequently uh, is the is the the situation just right to make that work for you? Um, let's have a peek then. Quarry, good. Uh, I don't actually want to discard any of these. Oh well, that wasn't the right right go uh, right thing to do. Sad but true. Uh, we'll place that down there. <coughs> Excuse me. The quarry though. We've got this little spot down there, and this is going to pay for itself, so I might as well. Though realistically, I could have gone for the uh, here and wiped all of those out. That would have been the better play. Damn it, why did I think of that? It's so late. Alright, but if I can somehow bring a flag down here to curve up, we may be able to uh, get some joint tower action going on there. But... This is either the last wave or the last but one. Penultimate, is that, is that the chat? Ah, I need to read more books. I feel it more with my English, because obviously my English... Uh, like, I'm reinforcing my Welsh with my dreams. But my passive vocabulary in English is definitely suffering. The pandemic did a number on my passive English vocabulary. It really hit <laughs> I, I used to be quite quite uh, proud of the fact that, although it might not be in my active vocab, you know, in just general conversation, I had an enormous bank of words that I could call on w with, a, with a moment to, to think of it in, in, in strange situations. But the pandemic stripped that away from me really hard. I don't know if I'm the only one. I, sh I should imagine I'm not. But at the same time, oh, second language uses i th i think we probably felt that the worst uh right we've got the flag so i could place it here <laughs> ironically the flag is attached to something that i would need to to use anyway but uh oh well i could place it over there i guess expand that area out sure let's do that Clunk. uh next I need a weapon, is what I need. Really quite badly. That said... No, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't benefit me in any way. <sighs> a slow rear would be glorious in the extreme. But I think a slow here is about all, all the good we're going to get. And it still will be good. In fact, let's do it there. If I'm only going to get one tile, there's no point using the bomb on it. But monuments, right. Gains three bridges when fully surrounded. Very well. Uh, in that case, you can go there. Three bridges, thank you. Next up, Ballista Tower. Okay. Ballista Tower, would this be the better place or this? One of the two. I think here because of the make use of the slope. Alright. Final wave. We will discover if that was the right play. I don't think, uh, even if we lose hearts, I don't think we're going to lose so many hearts that uh, we could lose this this one. I think we've made it. Didn't manage to get the treasure chest, though. A little bit sad about that. Uh, the long walk to your inevitable doom. Thing is, though, you could turn around. I'm not forcing you to do this, or maybe I am. Am I some sort of tyrannical monarch, and, and the, these are heroic peasants rising in arms against my unjust rule? Are we the baddies? I refuse to believe. Look how clean our, 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 our town is. No dirt anywhere. Also, no houses. Also, no people except... So, uh, okay, maybe maybe using how clean my, my kingdom is as a, as a metric of how, how just and good I am, maybe not the most fitting. But there we are. We defeated the Isle. You can get a, a bit of a vote breakdown there. It does appear that we may have unlocked all of the cards 
uh, for that one. But that is Isle of Arrows. I really do hope you have enjoyed this little first taste. Do let me know if uh, this game seems up your alley down in the comments below. But that is going to be it from me for today. I hope to see you in the next video when that arrives, whether it be first taste or a continuation of one of my series, or perhaps even over on Twitch where I am live streaming every couple of days. You know, a little, little bit timey-wimey. I am Welsh after all. But that is going to be it for us for now. So until next time, and as always, to take care, everyone.